Hi guys, so today I want you to consider the importance of rain, how important it is that the people in charge measure exactly how much rain we're getting in Florida, anywhere. Um, the levels of the Okeechobee for us, it depends how high or low they are so that we know if we're in a drought, if something needs to be done, how much water can we use? Are you allowed to water your lawns? So that part of it, it's important to get. So today we're going to be reviewing how to add decimals, something we've done in the past, way back. Now, before we start, I wanna start you out with this question, okay? Right here only, let's look at it, this one. Um, Tania measured the growth of her plant. Each week, the first week, the plant's height measured two and six, 65 hundredth decimeters. During the second week, Tania's plants grew 38 hundredth decimeters. How tall was Tania's plant at the end of the second week? Okay, and these are your choices. A, B, C, or D. If you have your notebook, close to your piece of paper, you can add those two numbers together and then you can go ahead and tell me what you get. All right? The question that we are trying to answer here is how can place value help you add decimals? Now, I'm gonna use a different marker so I don't confuse you. Tania's plant in the question that I asked you said that it grew uh, it, she, it measured two and 65 hundredth decimeters. Uh, and then her plant grew 38 hundredth, okay? When you add decimal, you have to line up the decimals. And you have to remember, because what you're really doing is uh, putting them by place, place value, place value, under each place value, okay? So in this case, your six is on the 10th place and your three is on the 10th place, so you have to line those two together. Your two is on the ones place, there's nothing on the ones place in the second number, so you put a zero there just to help you, okay? And then I'm going to add those together and I have five plus eight, which is 13. Carry one, seven, that's 10, carry that one again. So your answer should have been three and three hundredth. And in the <coughs> question, when I asked you earlier, that would have been B, three and three hundredth decimeters. Okay, so if you got that correctly, you're good to go, you're understanding. Again, I have another one here, I wanna go over it. Uh, let's suppose the rain, let's, Henry recorded the amount of rain that fell over two hours. In the first hour, Henry measured two and 35 hundredths centimeters of rain. And in the second hour, he measured one and 82 hundredths centimeters of rain. Again, you're lining them up by place value. One's place and one's place go together. That's why the decimals have to be aligned, okay? So I add those together normally. Five and two is seven. This is 11, carry the one, three and four. So my answer is going to be four and 17 hundredths, okay? Now I want you to try this one by yourself. 42 and 19 hundredths plus eight and eight tenths. Okay, so what happens on this one is that you got to remember Okay, when you line them up, because you're lining them up by place value. So you got nothing here and nothing here. So what you can do to make it easier on yourself is you're going to add zeros to the extra spaces. That way it gives you something to look at and you don't have to be confused. Then you can add them together just like you would normally. And your answer is 50 and 99 hundredths. Okay, now one last example I want you to look at, but this one I have the words written out for you. 
So I have 7 and 25 hundredth added to 9 and 4 tenths. So I'm going to write that down, 7. Remember that the word and is going to represent the decimal. 25 hundredth is going to be 2 and 5. Okay. And then you add it to 9. And again, the word and means you're adding. Okay. You're adding a decimal. 4 tenths. 4 tenths means it's in the tenth place, so I'm going to put the 4 in the tenth place. Now I got nothing here. So what do you do? If it makes you feel better, you add a zero to it just to fill out the space. And then you add them normally, okay? And your answer is going to be 16 and 65 hundredth, okay? That's just a little review of your decimals. And now I want you to go back and do some a little extra practice. All right, guys, good luck.